Right, so someone asked about doing uh, faces on these bolt action models. It was Fairy, wasn't it? Corporal Fairy from 7th Armoured Division. Um, and all it is, it's dead easy. Oops, whoa. There's the scar from the cat, vicious cat. Um, I just base coat the Denison jacket in this uh, desert yellow, which is a Vallejo model colour. Model colour is really good for bolt action stuff. Um, and to save time, I do the face as well. But usually I'd use something a bit lighter, maybe something like Iraqi sand. But you can use that for highlighting as well. So uh, I only paint really for the gaming side of it. So it doesn't need to be amazing detail. I certainly don't go painting eyeballs and earwax and all that. So you literally just get something like Reekland Flesh Shade. There is a model, what's it called? Model colour version of it where they have washes from Vallejo, but they only arrived today. I've not tested them out and I'm not used to them. So I've been using my Citadel paints. This is great because it's got a bit of red in it. Gives it a, a bit of colour and a bit of life to the skin. And you literally just... There's not a lot of paint on there. Get a bit more. I don't know if you can see this. I'm not used to painting with a camera on. But you're literally just slapping it on. Move it around so it doesn't flood too much. Because it will dry. Make sure you don't get the gloss stuff. Because that will dry shiny and you don't want shiny soldiers. And that's literally it. Done. Let that dry, and then you can slightly see the base cut, the primer coat grey through that. Um, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Look at that. So, when that's dry, you can then go over it with either the desert yellow again, which is the original base coat which goes over the primer, or you can go with the, something like Iraqi sand, which is even lighter, or, or both. Depends. The more the more layers you put on, the more detail there is. But the, the danger of the more layers is you thicken the paint up so much, you lose all that detail on the model. So this guy here, what I did with him is when I was washing the gun with null oil, which is black wash basically, uh, and the cap because the edge of the cap's black, just around there. Is that focusing right? Yeah. Let me do this. So there's there's black mixed in there as well. There's also a bit of dark brown. Um, these guys, who I'm working on as the next wave, I used Agrax Earthshade on these guys. So it goes all over the Denison smock. Let me zoom out again. Once you've got all the camo on, so this is the base coat here, and then the next one, that's him with the, the camo base coated. Um, and then you just wash it all in brown, and that ties everything together, unifies it. Um, and that's like the first part of it it gets easier and easier from here you can paint those bits green the backpacks and stuff and then you can start adding more highlights you go with a lighter brown there a lighter green on that and a slightly you go back with this desert yellow which is the original coat over the brown on the highlight areas and that's when you get to stuff like this it starts to get more and more lighter again so you're darkening it you're leaving the sh shadows and you're just painting the highlights just dropping your brush on and that's basically it. You don't need to paint the eyes when you're just using it on the tabletop because you're not going to spend all day looking at it like this. You're going to be it's going to be way back here. All these guys are going to be on the table, a good couple of feet away from your vision. So, and that's that. Oh, actually, I've got one paint. Where's this one? I'll give you an example here. So this guy has been base coated, and he and he's had a wash of brown and it's dry. So. I go back over it with the yellow, get a nice detailed brush. This would probably be a bit thick, this one. And you're literally just dropping it in the high point areas, like his nose, his eyebrows, I won't worry about the moustache too much. You can always go back over it with some brown or grey. Oh, he's like, oh, he can't see, can he? <laughs> And I kind of like to drag the paint over it, almost like a dry brush. Just touching the tops. And it picks it out. Terrible camera work, wabbit. Terrible. 
Yeah, so that's not quite highlighted enough. That's going to need a lighter colour. And I'd use something like this Iraqi sand just to do some more highlights again. And that will really lift it. I'll post a picture when I can. I'm not going to try again painting with the camera on on this phone. It's flopping around. And that's it.